Hey guys, oh my god, it has been a hot minute since I've made a video, oh my god. I have been really slowing down on buying anything, not, um, kind of on purpose, kind of, I'm sorry, I have something in my, <laughs> but yeah, I have a small little batch um, of cassettes and records, so I'll show you guys that, and also at the end, I also have some, like, VCLT, like, I know what it is, well, I know what it, I mean, I know like what it's about, <laughs> but um, I haven't um, opened it because I wanted to open it on camera. But before we continue, if you guys can give this a thumbs up, it really means a lot to me. And if you guys can subscribe, if you like these kind of videos, I have tons, so I'm sure you'll love my channel. So whew, let's go. All the records you'll see today came from the Hope Chest, and I got them for 20 cents each, so I was like a fucking steal. I went in there, I noticed they had this giant pile, and it was like such a mess. It was like all over the floor. People were disrespecting the fucking records. Like, I'm the type of person where like, if I see a record out and getting scratched, like, I will take the time to like grab it, put it back in its thing. It's just like an OCD slash like, I feel bad for it, I don't know. So yeah, it was a hot mess, I kind of like, organized it <laughs> I don't know and yeah and yeah like I said all of those records came from that big steaming pile of ass first up is Leonard Skinner Street Survivors I'm sure like a lot of the you know more experienced I don't know I'm sure um, a lot of you guys know this but um but I'm just you know I don't just fucking get on with it and so I do believe that this cover is the censored cover because right after they released this album the main singer died I'm not sure if others died I don't really bad but I believe it was like on fire and it was like too inappropriate back then so they made it all black I heard that story like a while back and I, I'm sorry if I'm getting anything wrong so yeah here they are I don't know if I know any of these songs Genesis second out if another one I found Not much to it there, but I'm sure it's pretty good. I liked some Genesis albums and um Yeah Hat stone blue. I am not familiar with fog hat. Says when I was stone blue, rock and roll sure helped me through. Yeah, that's me right now with the recent happenings in the world, you know? <laughs> Another Leonard Skinner gold and platinum is kind of like a greatest hits type of thing. I love this type of shit right here. I love when people write things. Given to me from Robert McCready, 83. That's cute, I love that stuff. So yeah, this has Free Bird, come on. You at least have to have known that from Guitar Hero. You have Sweet Home Alabama. You know every middle school dance was dancing to that bop up in the hizzy. <laughs> least the who Tommy I really love this cover I don't know like at first I thought it was a pie <laughs> but is it like a sewer drain I don't know uh, what is it can anybody tell me I don't know it's kind of heavy it's like this and like this holy Jesus mother okay well, I'm not really like a rock and roll the who type of person but I am betting I've probably heard of oh pinball wizard I've heard of that I, I like the Elton John cover or what is I don't know if it's a cover Okay, so now I'm moving on to the cassettes, and these cassettes I found all over the place, give or take, 
in the past month or two in like all kinds of stores. I can't even remember. I actually have a ton of cassettes that I never even showed it, which I'm kind of upset that I didn't do that. But I just got kind of like, I don't know what happened. Like I got kind of lazy and I was like, eh, nobody cares about cassettes. But I thought, you know, I was like, let me bring it back. I thought, let's kickstart the cassette craze with this batch. Okay, so from now on, I'll, I'll try my hardest to show more cassettes. Janet Jackson Control. I was really excited for this, I really was. And inside, Robert, Robert Palmer, Palmer Rip Tie. I don't know what, what the fuck. fuck, fuck. I don't know I what don't kind of ungodly demon shit, shit is that, that. but I wanted, I wanted Janet, Janet Jackson, Jackson. Control. Control. Honestly, what the fuck is that? Tupac, keep your head up. This is a classic West Coast fucking song. Black cassette, love it, love it, love it, everything. Um, I'm sorry. But yeah, all these cassettes um, I got for no more than 50 cents. I know that for a fact. Oh my gosh, this next one. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already. And you've seen me sing along to it horrifically. But Hanson, middle of nowhere. Oh my god. This right here is my childhood. Like This along with Spice Girls to become one single was my first music purchase except it was a cd not a cassette but like i would play this whole entire album back to back front to back side to side if you're just like oh my god i love hansen and box the shit like bitch sit your ass down in multiple fucking seats because okay other than umbop there's way good songs on here like weird oh my god yearbook oh my god that was a tearjerker i will come to you Where's the love? Oh my god. That, like, literally just saying, where's the love? It takes me back. Like, I can smell the smells of the 90s. Like, oh my god. I just, I'm just gonna leave it at that because I can't go on. Beatles who? And speaking of the 90s, I bought this because... Again, reminds me of the 90s. Sugar Ray, 1459 is the title. This has such bops as Sunday, Abracadabra, oh my god, that was the jam. Every morning, oh my god, y'all. That was the dawn back then, okay? Like I said in one of my earlier videos, I buy cassettes more for like nostalgia factor. Like, I don't know, it's just, I collect in a really bizarre way. Madonna, self-titled. This album I have already, obviously. This is the damn jam. Lucky star, fuck. Borderline, fuck me up. Burning up. Holiday. Think of me. Physical attract. Everybody, stop. And last but not least is Dr. Dre introducing Snoop Doggy Dog. So you know this is OG right here. Deep cover. This is from like 1993, I believe. 1992, sorry. I had to have this. I am a huge, huge hip hop rap fan. Huge. If I had to pick one genre to listen to, it would be hip hop, rap, R&B, whatever. Just give it to me. Well, that's it for the music stuff. Um, hopefully next time I'll have for you guys like a bigger pile. Or not, maybe you guys like this little short little quick pile. On to the BCLT. Um, it's not even BCLT really. It, I don't know why I called it that, but it's more just like a gift from a friend. I mentioned a while back that I love learning about the Holocaust and World War II and all that stuff. I just, something about it, like I truly believe that like in a past life somehow, I was somehow like... I don't know, living in that era. But Robert Z is just like a dearly beloved man. And he 
saw that video where I said that and he actually sent me something. He told me it was like a book or something from uh, actually he was a, oh, I don't even want to say because I don't know, I don't want to get it wrong, but he was like in the military or um, the army or something like that. Thank you so much. Like I, I'm sure you hear it all the time. Like, thank you for your service, but really, truly, thank you so much. Um, so I just, I want to take the time to say that. Um, and on to the thing. I talk too much. I'm sorry. I don't, obviously don't know exactly what's inside, but um, I'll read the letter last because I, I don't, it bugs me when like people read it first and it's like, bitch, you spoiled it. You know what's in there already. Okay, let me pull out the first thing and I will put this down for you. Oh my gosh. I just have to take this in. This is so beautiful. Okay. Oh wow. Like, I feel like I'm not like, you know it's good when I'm when my mouth is shut and I'm speechless. Oh my gosh. Like I have chills. I like I have actual chills right now. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I know that word. I know what that is. Background, it's history. Oh my gosh. I can't right now. Fuck me up. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Like I'm having a moment to myself right now. You guys aren't even here right now. These pictures send chills down my spine. I'm <sighs> these pictures are a mixture of Beautiful and sadness all in one. Let me put this down. Okay What was it like in the concentration camp at Dachau? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really bad. I don't speak German But I can if you like Okay, get it together. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's one more thing. Jeez, Robert. Oh wow, 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 wow. This is just wow. What else could I say? And the letter. Elizabeth, these items are actually from Dachau concentration camp in Germany. I visited the camp while I was in Germany. He did tell me that, which I, that was part of the reason why I'm like, this is like so special, you know what I mean? It was one of the most intense and haunting emotional experiences of my life, actually being in the place where these atrocities took place. I remember seeing your video where you talked about this time frame in history and your interest in it. I wanted you to have these items for this reason. I hope you will find them as interesting and fascinating as I have. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend. It really means a lot. Your friends now and always, Robert and Betty. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like, this is it. Oh my gosh, I can't even put my thoughts together right now. Such a crazy time, I'm sure, in Robert's life. Like, and then getting these things and holding on to these things for all these years and then giving them to me. Like, I can just tell you that I will have these forever. I don't even know. Like, I've I feel like you don't get it. <laughs> Thank you so much, seriously. I really wanted to open it on camera and I finally got the chance to do that. So that, that totally made my freaking last half of the year. And I wanna thank Robert and I wanna thank his wife, Betty. I really hope that you and your family are doing great this evening. Whenever you happen to be watching this. Again, thank you so much. After I stop this video, I am definitely gonna just really like, true. <laughs> And I will find a place to display these very proudly on my shelf. I will make room. I will freaking purge vinyl if I have to. I will. So yeah, this is it. If you watch to the end, say vinyl is life, vinyl is love.